to another episode of the Everyday Joy podcast. I'm your host, Ash Owen, and I am so excited to find moments of joy with you today. I cannot wait to dive into the Word of God, so why don't you get ready to hear even more of today's words to live by. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 5. Keep your eye on what you're doing. Accept the hard times along with the good. Do a thorough job as God's servant. That is from the message version. Shay, we are heading towards the middle of the week. Yes. <laughs> well, we are in the middle of the week. <laughs> yeah. This is officially the middle. It is officially the middle. So congratulations to everyone. You have got through we did it. midweek of another week. You know what? It's so funny that sometimes that is all you need to do yep. is just get through the week. Put one foot in front of the other. And that's exactly what kind of, I guess, when I read this verse, it first comes to mind. It's this thing of keep your eye on what you're doing. Yeah. Accept the hard times along with the good. Man, how easy is it to be overwhelmed by the future, by next week, next month, six months down the track? Yes. And I'm not saying it's not good to have goals. I'm not saying it's not good to like forward plan and think. But sometimes we just need to take one foot in front of the other. Exactly. And do day by day trusting and relying that God is in control and that like we can get through every single day, whether it's good or bad, just looking at what we're doing and keeping on going. So true. But can I just say, accepting the hard times, that's uh, not easy not to do. Not an easy task. That's not easy to do. I would say that it's so funny. It's kind of, I feel like when I when I look at this, I very rarely accept the hard times in the moment. Yeah. It's always retrospectively. Yeah. Okay. So like in a in a tough season, mm. I feel like when I'm three, six, 12 months out of a tough season, generally I can look back and go, okay, God, I see what you were doing there. Yeah. Like, God, I see that you were trying to grow me. But in amongst it, man, I find it hard. And I would say I am not good at accepting the hard times when I'm in it. A hundred percent. I mean, it does. Look, sometimes some hard things are easier to accept than other hard things. You know, like if you're at a job and you are working and I'm not saying that this is me. Gosh, no, I'm very blessed. We're very blessed here. But I have had many a job where I've had very difficult personalities to work with. And sometimes, like, those moments are easier to accept. You're like, well, God, I feel like I'm called to be here, so I'm here for a reason. We just soldier through. This isn't easy, but I get it. But then there are hard times where your world is completely crashing down around you, and they're really hard to to stomach. Totally. And to accept when it feels unfair and it feels like God's not in your corner and you don't know why everything is completely falling to bits. And to then read this and be like, but I have to accept this hard time. Totally. That doesn't seem that doesn't seem very fair. Totally. You know what I loved about what you just said, Shay? I think that sometimes we feel like this word accepting the hard times mm. means we have to be stupidly happy about it. Yeah. Be like, wow, sick. The worst time ever. I love it. <laughs> but I'm still gonna have a smile on my face. Yeah. <laughs> but I actually think God doesn't ask that of us yeah like so much it's it's more going hey i'm gonna be with you in it exactly you can ex- like i th- like i think what it's saying is you accept this time understand that mm. there will be fruit out of this yeah but you don't have to be like f- a super stoked about it right now totally well what this makes me think the whole thread um or the whole theme in timothy mm. is he speaks about endurance yeah right and enduring the hard times and timothy he went through some really tough times um and then that kind of brings me or reminds me of the verse from romans where it says not only that but we rejoice in our suffering knowing that suffering produces endurance and endurance produces character and character produces hope so we're not god's not telling us just to accept the hard times because they're going to happen but because of the benefit to us totally that when we do endure a hard time when we do push through that suffering that helps produce our character as a person completely and helps us grow and flourish and then that produces hope yeah it's it's so true and and the thing that's the hardest like we were saying before is when you're in it often doesn't make sense but when you're out of it like when I look at my life there are so many scenarios I wish I didn't have to go through yeah but 
when I look on the other end of it, I go, man, God grew me there. Exactly. Like, man, he showed me and made me into the person that I needed to be mm. to to be able to, like, what's the word? Go through all these things. Like, Tobes. And he's, like, the most chill person I've ever met in my life. Sometimes it frustrates me because <laughs> he's chill. just, like, so unfazed by everything. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and it can be so hard to... To, like, accept it when you're in it. Yes. But you do grow and learn so much when you are out of it. And yeah. I can see that in my life, going through difficult circumstances, you know. It's actually really funny. I saw this um, I saw this post the other day and it was saying, like, um, it was like a calendar invite. And it was, like, calendar invite, deal with trauma. And then in, com- in commas, it said, like, um, the COVID pandemic. Oh. Oh. And I had this moment where I kind of reflected and, and like- I was, like, that was one of the hardest seasons yes, of my life. That was traumatic. Like literally one of the most traumatic seasons of my life. And I think that when I look back at that season, I did not understand. During COVID lockdowns, yeah. I I have a video and it's maybe the saddest video ever, <laughs> but I wanted to film it because I wanted to yeah. like reflect on it in years to come. And it's this video of me just like in my car kind of talking about how much I was struggling over Mm. COVID lockdowns. And in it, I just am like, Jesus, I don't know how I can endure this any longer. Like, God, I need you to like show up. But it's so interesting because I think that when I reflect on that season of life Mm. and reflect on the isolation and the loneliness and the frustration and the heartache that came with that season. Yeah. I I think I really grew into an adult in that season of life. Yeah. I really learned how to endure long seasons mm. of of toughness, yeah, of and, suffering and of suffering <laughs> and of difficulty. And I think it's one thing to go through quick little seasons, yep. but to go through like year-long seasons of difficulty like Man, it produces some sort of resilience in you that you didn't even realize. A hundred percent. Oh, that is so, so, so true. Speaking of like enduring tough seasons, like when I was in year seven and year eight, I got pretty badly bullied. So much so that I had to leave the school at the end of the year, right? Wow. After year eight. Um, and through that season, accepting the fact that I was going through a hard time and I hate at school was not easy. Like uh, going to school every day, not knowing what the day would bring and how much pain that would bring. That was really hard to go through. And then it hasn't been until years and years after when I look back on that season and I realise the the people who were bullying me, um, I didn't know it at the time, but I found out later that they both had really hard home lives. Mm. They both were really struggling at home one of them had quite an abusive stepfather and the other one she was dealing with pain and loss of losing a family member and therefore which is no excuse to bully absolutely Mm. not but it wasn't until hindsight of realizing how much pain they were going through therefore how they were coping is coming to school and kind of you know asserting their I don't know dominance or trying to take control just dealing with emotions that they didn't understand exactly but in those two years my goodness did I grow up a lot and did my character it my character was developed like crazy fast and especially after that when I reflect on that time like how much grace I now have for people especially when they aren't the kindest or the nicest but I can kind of see through a different lens that you never know what's going on behind closed doors or under the surface. And therefore it makes those hard times easier to accept and easier to, to, I guess, be okay with or make peace with because you know the backstory, you know what's going on. Totally. It is so true. And I, and I suppose like, 
I don't know, maybe like a challenge for me is to try and learn how to accept things better. Yeah. Because sometimes I think I spend so much of my life worrying, overwhelmed, being overwhelmed, like going like, God, why? Like all Mm. these things. I had a moment the other day where I was like praying and I was really like, God, like I just, Mm. I really want you to remind me that you're with me. Yeah. In like tough times. Mm. And... You know, this doesn't always happen, mm. but I got this like random verse in my pop into my head, like random thought. Yeah. And I opened up my Bible and I was sitting there praying and I read it and, um, and I, it was kind of, it was that verse in, I believe it's in Mark and it talks about when Jesus is in the boat with the disciples mm. and how Jesus is like there with them and there's this storm happening and all of them are like freaking Freaking out. out. And they're like, Jesus is right there. And I know I've said before, maybe on this podcast (laughs) or maybe another point, I always go like, if Jesus was with me, I would never be scared. But if you think about it, right, these disciples were standing with Jesus and yet they still struggled to accept the difficult time, right? Yes. They would have like, I would assume they would have known that God, that Jesus wouldn't have let anything bad happen to them. So why couldn't they accept their scenario knowing that God was with them, right? And so it was so interesting. For some reason, this verse came to mind. And I was like, Lord, like, why are you revealing this to me? And I just had this moment where I just felt like God was being like, Ash, like, I'm with you in the boat. Mm. Like, I am with you in this season. Like, you can accept the season and know that I will be with you. Mm. Like, like, don't doubt. He, I basically felt like he was going, don't doubt me like the disciples mm. did. Like, don't doubt me because you know I'm faithful. You know that I'm good. You know that even though the storm is happening, that I'm there protecting you. And it was just this great moment for me to be like, man, like, I need to learn to recognize and, and, and be like, the, the lessons that Jesus taught in the Bible, like, they're not just fun stories to read. Like yeah. they're like that is who Jesus is. That is his character. Yeah, exactly. And so to actually go, no, like God's with me in it all. Yeah. I don't need to worry. And I think like for anyone listening today, you know, where this says, um, keep an eye on what you're doing. Mm. If you need to take each day, day by day, week by week for mm. the season, that's what you have to do. Yeah. Every morning, surrendering it to God. I love that verse that says that his mercies are new each morning. Mm. Each morning, if you need to go, okay, God, help me through today. That's all I've got in my tank today. I'm going through a really difficult time. Help me through today. Give me your peace like we talked about in yesterday's episode. Give me that gift of peace. Help me to trust you. Like, you know, unlike the disciples in the boat, like help me to actually walk through life knowing that you've got me. Yeah, it's awesome. And that I can accept the hard times, not because I have to be okay with the hard times, but because I'm okay with who you are, God. So good. And and who and what your plans for my life are. It's awesome. Keep your eyes on what you're doing. Accept the hard times along with the good. Do a thorough job as God's servants. Man, difficult times are not always easy. It can stretch us. It can challenge us. But out of today's episode, I hope you are reminded that even in it all, even when you feel like you're in that storm, God is with you. You don't have to fear. You don't have to worry. You can take each step, each day, each week, each month, day by day as you trust in God. I cannot wait to dive even deeper into the Word of God with you tomorrow. But until then, I pray you're able to find moments of joy.